So there's two basic types of corn, a butterfly corn because it has two wings on it and it looks like a butterfly. We use a particular blend of corn called mushroom corn and as a result of that we have a much bigger surface area to coat. We will normally source our corn from either France or South Africa. The beauty of sourcing it from those countries is we are getting it as a GM free product. From here it goes into the hopper. The hopper feeds it through. It's heated to around about 260 degrees and the corn to explode into the mushroom ball. Before we actually launch the business, we rented a kitchen by the hour. We'd turn up in the morning at the crack of dawn with all the sugar and the raw materials needed for that day. So this is where we make our caramels. It's still totally handmade. They go on the hob, we bring them into the perfect temperature for our caramel, and from there they go to coat the popcorn. But they're still made in small batches, uh, the original way I used to make it when I started all those years ago. There's been a lot of talk in the papers about dairy price increases. They've more than doubled in the last year. As well as that, we have some Brit exit challenges. Overseas retailers are asking us now to underwrite any duty or other financial costs they may suffer buying a British product over, say, a French product. At the same time, we're a young enough, a small enough company that will look at how we do things to be able to absorb those increases. So this is our recipe preparation area. As you saw on the caramels, everything is prepared in small batches, so all the rest ingredients are weighed out to go in those various recipes. So we get through around about half a tonne of butter and half a tonne of sugar a day. Park Royal is very much traditionally a food manufacturing area. In fact, if you walk around the streets from here, you can probably take an ethnic tour of the world in uh, 500 metres. And in fact, I think the proudest moment for me was when we got orders from America and we started shipping it back to there because to me, America is the spiritual home of popcorn. This is our amazing wall of popcorn. From here, it goes to be coated with the caramel sauce that you saw being prepared. Once it's coated with the caramel, it goes into trays ready to go into the oven. Most companies will machine coat the corn. The problem with machine coating is you don't get an even coating. We aim that every piece is evenly coated and that's a process that can only be achieved by hand. The popcorn comes out of the ovens and is put on the cooling table where they will be hand stirred to ensure that they don't clump together. It's as professional popcorn as you can possibly make. And each year we look at how we can innovate further and whether that was by making the world's first alcoholic popcorn. Uh, we created a gin and tonic popcorn with 5% real gin in it. So this is the final part of the process where all our lovely babies go into a bag ready for someone else to enjoy.